Good day. For today's video, lesson 4.3, we will be discovering how proportional relationships and graphs are intertwined and how they relate to one another. Our essential question is how do you use graphs to represent and analyze proportional relationships? We have one vocabulary term to review, and that is the origin which is the point where the x-axis and the y-axis intersect on a coordinate plane. And that point is called 0, 0. <clears throat> For how we identify proportional relationships in a graph, we can look to see if it is a proportional relationship, if the graph forms a straight line through the origin. So meaning that line passes through the origin, or zero, zero. Our first example, a house cleaning company charges $45 per hour. I want to know if this relationship is proportional. So the first way that I'm going to look at to see if I have a proportional relationship is going to be to make a table from that information. So I know if it charges $45 per hour, that means in one hour, excuse me, it charges $45. In two hours, it would charge $90. In three hours, it would charge $135. And in four hours, it would charge $180. <clears throat> now, how do I take this information from a table and put it into a graph? Well, I have to take this information and write that as ordered pairs so I know how to graph them. So I'm going to use my information for hours or time as my x value and the total cost as my y value. So as an ordered pair, my first one is 145, my second is 290, 3, 135, and 4, 180. <clears throat> now to graph this, I'm going to plot my first point. So on, along the x-axis, I've got 1 hour, 2 hours, three hours, and four hours. And along my y-axis, I'm going to label my first as $45, $90, $135, and $180. Now to plot my first point, I'm going to go over one on the x-axis and up to 45. So my first point is right here. To plot my second one, it's at 2 and 90. My third is at 3 and 135. And my fourth is at 4 and 180. And now I'm going to check to see if when I connect these, if I have a straight line that would pass through the origin. Now bear with me because I'm doing this with a stylus pen, so I hope I have a straight line. And I can see, given that it's a little shaky, that I do have a straight line that passes through the origin. And another way to think about this is if it passes through the origin, which is 0, 0, well, I can ask myself, if I clean for 0 hours, would you get paid $45 or would you get paid $0? And I would say 0 hours would result in $0. So this is a proportional relationship according to this graph. Now taking a look at this through a different lens, we can analyze already made graphs and use that to determine if we have a proportional relationship. So looking at example two, this graph here shows the relationship between time and minutes, or excuse me, time in minutes and the number of miles that Damon runs. So what we're going to try to do is write an equation from this proportional relationship. But before we do that, we want to double check if we have a proportional relationship. So when I look at this graph, I see here that all of these lines would connect. And if I extended this one right here, 
it would come through the origin. So I can see that this is definitely a proportional relationship. So my next step is going to be to find that constant of proportionality, which we've said in class, that's also that unit rate. So I see here at this first point, I need to analyze what this point means. So my x value is time in minutes. So if he runs for 10 minutes, I can see here that he runs a distance of one mile. So 10 minutes equals one mile. And I'm going to check that with the second point just to make sure. And I see that if he runs for 20 minutes, he runs for two miles. And just based off of this information right here, I can see that as the amount of time doubles, so does his distance. So again, I have, a con or I have a proportional relationship, and I also see that I have a constant of proportionality, or that unit rate, which is right here, 10 minutes in one mile. So my constant of proportionality in this case is 10. That is that constant. He's always running 10 minutes per mile. So we know that this is equal to that variable k. So in this equation, y equals kx, I'm going to substitute my unit rate in place of k, and this would be the equation that represents this graph. Now what I'd like you to do is turn this over and take a look at the two your turn on your own questions. Refer to these examples if you have questions. As always, mark them down and we will discuss them in tomorrow's CPR.